What's going on, guys? I appreciate all of you that are hanging out, waiting for the live stream to start. For those of you watching the replay, you know the routine. If you've been here before, hit that thumbs up. Make sure to hit subscribe, turn on all notifications. So when we do live streams like this, you can take part in the live chat. So I appreciate all of you guys. I see a bunch of you hanging out, dropping your center of the days in the chat. Welcome to all the new members. we got some more new members. Uh, we put out the first poll for next week's content. Uh, make sure for those of you that are new members to the channel to go ahead and put your video ideas so I can get voted on by the other members and or vote on the poll because it's going to be two members choices. Plus, I did a poll for with three options of, you know, three I'd like to do with you guys to vote on. So three videos total that are going to be member request content videos for next week. So let's get caught up, see who's got what on. I am rocking Eternity Cologne. I featured it in today's video. Really, really, really dig this one. Uh, don't believe everything you see in here online. That includes me liking it. Try it for yourself if you can. 20 bucks. Link in the description if you're interested. $20. Their limit one per person for some reason, I guess, because it's so damn cheap. White tester box from Fragrance Buy. I'm, I'm loving this one. I only have four sprays on because when we spray in these two fragrances we're talking about today on skin. Uh, so I wanted to leave my arms free. So I just have four sprays around the neck, but I'm loving this one, guys. I like this. I think this is my favorite. I think I like it more than the EDP. I think this has become my favorite version of Eternity. I really like this because it stays true to the original, but it's much more modernized with the Ambroxan. The Oak Moss, Geranium, Ambroxan combo, it's just for me. This is for me. I really like this. Solid performer. It's good stuff. I like it a lot. Underrated stuff. So let's see. Let me get caught up in the chat. I'm, I got way behind. Jabbering on. So let's see. No, incense reminds me of hard candy my mom put in Christmas, so I like it. Where it wearing it? All right, Darren 10 4. All genres bops in the house. That's what I'm saying. Hit that like button on your way in. We're about halfway likes to viewers. Center of the day, second soul decant. How you liking it so far? Justin came up with something good. On average, Joe in the house, channel member, personal friend, wearing Percival. That is a banger. Eddie's in the house. What's going on? Center of the day, boss bottle unlimited. I need to pull that one out. Been a while. Uh, Ambassador Intense, I, I have a carded sample. I have not gotten around to trying it yet. Glad you're here, though. Mike, Amen Crypto Mint. That's a good one. I've tried that before. Kyler, another channel member. What's going on, my man? Glad to see you, Smooth Operator. Juicebox Visionary Eye. I've never tried that one. That must be one of their newer releases because uh, I have a discovery set with 14 of their older releases, and that one's not one of them. Uh, what do you think about it? Let me know down in the comments. Noah, what's going on, my man? Oud Mosaic from Banana Republic. Probably the best oud you're going to get for $20. You know, as, as real of an oud as it gets, I guess. I'm sure it's not natural oud, but Claude did a great job with that fragrance. It's awesome. Kevin, glad to see you. Aqua de Joe Profondo, excellent choice. Mintley for Men, intense. All-time great hype beast. Blue Chanel EDP layered with sillage. Bet that smells good. Aqua Cinziali Blue for the family brunch and scent of the day. Archangelo, that's one hell of a choice. That's one of my favorite fragrances ever. Nautical Voyage to Work, Hawass Out the Shower. Backwards of how I would have did it, but hey, both great picks, man, for sure. Spencer's in the house wearing Cedar, uh, Cedar Cypress, Banana Republic. Coach for Men for Ethan. Hope you're having a good day. Antonio Banderas, Blue Seduction. Good pick right there. Dylan Blue, Layton, Tony Iomi, I've heard good things about. Tonka Cola. Absolute banger. Yeah, we talked about this in the comments earlier. Glad to see you, Sean. Try anything from Perfume Parlor? I have not. One Million Privé. Sadly discontinued, but such a good fragrance. Latafa Assad is a monster. I agree. That is a monster performer. Aqua, another one wearing Aqua Essentiali Blue. Excellent. Man with Sense. Got to like the simplicity of that name. That's, I like that. Sin of the Day. I've never heard of this fragrance. Dang good Paco Rabanne Phantom Dupe. Okay, yeah, I've never heard of it. It's like perfume oil from there. Mixed with perfumer's alcohol, and it's a banger, 10-4. Ambra Calabria from Nishane. I've never tried that one, Kyler. I want to get – there's more I want to get from the house. I want to try the X line now that it's coming, like Hachiba Oud. I'd definitely like to try that as well. Masoni Parfum Pour Homme or Ajazi Silver Yesterday. Both are great, which – Still sealed. Bottom of the box got beat up a little bit. And I know people are going to ask. So let's get this out of the way. This is February, um, September, sorry, September 2022 for Ijazi Intense Silver from Latafa. And then Supremacy in Heaven is February. 
if it'll focus because I got that reflection. There we go. February 2022 for Supremacy in Heaven, which I've been meaning to add this one for quite a while. We'll get to it in just a second. We'll get caught up. 74 viewers currently, 34 likes. That is abysmal. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me if you don't mind, guys, on your way in. Good evening, gentlemen. Sin of the Day, Zaharoff Signature Royale. Excellent. Ooh for Glory. Still haven't tried that one. First full wearing of Evening Mystique tonight. Man, I hope you're enjoying it. Also, thank you for joining up today. I saw you jumped on the mid the mid tier. I added a third tier. Figured why the hell not. But on the mid-level tier, so you'll be in for the niche giveaway. I think because uh, we're not quite to the 12-member minimum for the $25 level yet. Uh, so I think I think until we get to this, what like I think it'll I'll, I'll dictate the pricing. We're still going to give a niche fragrance away. It's just for this first one at the end of the month. Instead of doing a discovery set, I think we're going to do something that's going to be in the sub hundred dollar price point. Something like Aqua de Parma, Mancera, Amontal for this first month. Because I still want to give you guys a bottle away. Because that's that's what we said we we're going to do as a perk. So once we get to the twelve minimum, that's when the price is really going to jump up on which niche fragrance I'm going to pick up and do the giveaway on every month. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support with the fragrance and with joining the channel. I appreciate you, my man. Argo sample set was canceled. There was no explanation. So bummed. I wonder why. I would assume they're out of samples right now for that to be the case. But yeah, that's kind of, that sucks that you didn't get a response. I would assume they're out of stock on them. That's probably why, but glad you're here, Boswellio. I'm sorry to hear that though, man. I've not tried my hair legacy. And then the super chat came Volcanus, the man himself, rocking Aqua de Joe Absolute. You know, that one came up the other day in the live stream, and I, I had it in my mind. I need to put that on the rotation table. I forgot. I need to not forget this time because I want to wear that too. People have been mentioning it lately. I'm like, man, I like that fragrance. I want to wear that fragrance. Thank you for the super chat, my man. Glad to see you. Turd Ferg, how about Rouge Privé, the new one? Okay, what do you think about it? Definitely let us know in the comments. My main man, Dan, what's going on? In Mikalif Desir Toxic. That's a banger. God, that is such a good fragrance. I'm going to be wearing uh, gin tonic here in the next few days. Done two test sprays so far. I love this fragrance. I think it's a great release. Great niche freshie. OG, 90 degrees in Dallas today. 10-4. Invictus Victory Elixir. I need to spend some more time with that one. Zara the Most Wanted, my favorite in the line. Hinoki in Hinoki. Okay, I'm assuming it's got Hinoki wood in it. Thoughts on Tobacco Touch? I have not tried that one. Just uh, the Tobacco Lore clone, but not Tobacco Touch. Summer Vibes 4.0 and Vanilla Vibes. Ooh, that's interesting because you get that creamy sunscreen vanilla feel from Vanilla Vibes with all that fresh pineapple. I wonder. That's it. I could see that being terrible or mind-blowingly good. I don't think there's no going to be an in-between with that. What, what do you say? You're the one wearing it. You let me know. Fakar Black EDP, the Y EDP clone. Old school Liz Claiborne Sport. Versace Poor Ohm. Dan, not the man. As usual, my favorite YouTube profile name. The best in terms. No, I wouldn't sit here and call them the best in terms of that because they do smell cheaper most of the time. Uh, Afnan's pretty good with their quality. But uh, like the Latafa fragrance, I'm not expecting this to smell high quality. $14.63 in the link below. It's cheap, but I'm sure it's going to smell good, and I'm sure it's going to perform really well. Latafas usually do. I got more high hopes on this one because I'm a big fan of the Silver Mountain Water DNA. My wife is, is a bigger fan of it than me, and I've heard this is kind of that with its own little twist like Afnan's good for. So I'm actually quite looking forward to sniffing this. And we'll get to it in just a second. I'm almost caught up. But never pulled the trigger. Yeah, it's less than 15 bucks from Fragrance Buy in the link down below. It's, these were cheap. This was less than 40 bucks to get both of these. About like a dollar. It was like 49 bucks to get both of these. Not bad at all. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to be really good, too. Visionary Eye is Iris, Bergamot, Sandalwood, and Lavender. I bet that's good. I bet that is good. It's a shame it was discontinued. Really nice scent. I agree. Volcana should have... Surpassed every tier. That I'm surprised he didn't sign up, <laughs> to be honest with you. That man super chats every day. And look, if we don't do a live stream, he'll do super thanks on a random review video where he's like, yep, I appreciate this review. It's crazy. That dude's super, super generous. Volcanus, you're the real MVP. I appreciate you, man. Please hit that like button. Hello, Ross. How are you? Solis, good to see you. Up, 
Mouse is jumping around. Danielle's wearing Ocean Noir. Spencer decided to join. I appreciate that, Spencer. Thank you. Welcome to the channel membership. Don't forget to vote in the poll. Three videos. Three videos are up to you guys. There's one that's kind of leading the way right now. Eight fragrances for life. Two for each season. One day, one night. That was a great idea. And that one's got the most votes. So that one, probably doing that video next week. Forgot whose idea that was. I think it was Smooth Operator. I think it was which we saw him in the chat a minute ago. I think it was his idea. Great idea. People seem to be thumbs upping it. So I'm so disappointed because I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, man, I, they got some bangers from the house. Hope that gets situated soon. Uh, so welcome to Elite Status. Hello, Galan Loam Ideal Eau de Parfum. Excellent, excellent choice. Sean Living Life. I could have swore you signed up this morning. That's funny, but hey, welcome, Sean. I, I could have swore you did this morning. Let's see. What's up, center of the day? Not only intense, that's a banger. We're almost there, guys, and we're going to get into this first one. 9 a.m. dives, great stuff. Monkey special, summer days. Hey, Still right here from the video from this morning. Excellent choice. Reflection Man, what's your favorites from Memoirs? Epic Man, Reflection Man, Overture Man. That's my top three. I love Boundless, Enclave, Meander, um, Journey Man. There's... there's that is one of my favorite houses, especially if you categorize niche alone, but excuse me, by itself, 100% top three niche house for me. Uh, it, they're amazing. I yet to smell a fragrance from them. I don't like, I heard that like figment man might not be for me. So I'm kind of weary of that one. I've tried beach hut, man, uh, sunshine, man. Haven't, did I try Bracken man? I haven't tried memoir. I've been wanting to try that one. I used to have a decan of lyric man. I've been needing to get a bottle of that. Big fan of the house, but that's my top three for sure. Overture Man, because it's just such a statement maker. Wow Factor, I wore it to a party in Chicago in the last couple of weeks. Um, as well as Reflection Man and Epic Man. Those are those are my top two. I love those. Those are amazing. Ton, Ebony Note and Aqua Joe Absolute Instinct is great. Mixed with the seaweed note, it makes for a really good aquatic. Wearing Sidrap Boise. Sam, what's going on, my man? My step bro, good to see you. Tobacco Touch is Tobacco Vanille. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's a clone of anything specific. We're going to check it out on Parfumo in a little bit after we smell it. 109 viewers with 13 minutes in. 56 likes. Hit that thumbs up, guys. We'll get started as soon as we can get some of these thumbs up uh, in, in the right place. Where That ratio is terrible. I don't remember the count, but I've been full-time since the fall of 2020. Love wearing supremacy in heaven as well. Yeah, we're about to get into that one. Cade Volcanus, gentleman and super generous. I agree. Tony, what's going on? Thanks for the read on Kate Alpha Sun. You and Neeb. Yeah, Neeb's the one told me about it. Best $15 I ever spent. Bois Imperial by Essential Parfums. That's a good one. I need to get that bottle too. Uh, more wearable, slightly similar to Ganymede because same perfumer, but it's much more daily wear appropriate. At least I think. Interesting so far. I need to give it some more wear. We tried Oud Royal. Never tried it. Sample of Eternity EDP. That is a good one. That was my favorite until I started spending some time with Eternity Cologne. I'm loving this one. I upgraded. Oh, okay. So you went to the next tier, my man. So you're going to be in for the niche fragrance every month. That's what's up. That's awesome, man. I appreciate that. Like I said, I'm putting that money to you. So I'm going to, that's why that tier is there. That's to like YouTube's going to take 30% of it. I'm going to get a few bucks out of it. And then I'm going to put the bulk of, what YouTube doesn't take into buying a fragrance to, to give away to that's why I want to do a 12 member minimum. Cause after YouTube takes their cut, there's two ten left. And I'm thinking we'll probably spend anywhere from hundred to 150 bucks on a fragrance every month to do a giveaway, you know, or potentially if I can see a really good deal, we might do like a double bottle giveaway. It's going to be one winner though. So one lucky winner is going to get something badass. Maybe we'll do a gift, a, a discovery set as well. I don't know. That's still a working thing, but at least one niche fragrance giveaway every month. So I appreciate it, man. And you're going to win something at some point. Cause I don't expect that to just be a massive overhaul of people. I think it's going to be a nice group. That's going to have a good shot that eventually over the month, somebody's going to win a fragrance. You know what I mean? Like you might not win the first one. You might win the second one. You know what I mean? I might put a limit on it. Once we get to 12, which should happen in the next couple of days based on the pace I think I might put a cap of like 20 people to where it doesn't get too much. You know what I mean? Because I want it to be, you know, have have a really good chance of winning. You know, I want to keep the odds lower for you guys. 
the more leather dominant, which of course the more members will get, the more expensive of a fragrance we'll give away every month. But the more leather leather dominant version of Habit Rouge. Iris replaces the rose and carnation. Oh, I took the carnation out. I like the carnation in it. Dry Down's classic patchouli vanilla. I bet it's good. I bet it's good because Habit Rouge is really good. I mean, it's a classic. Montrese is in the house. What's going on, my man? My name's got two S's. <laughs> So, rocking Bracken Man, speaking of. Bulgari Man, Wood Neroli. I need to pull that one back out for the rotation. It's perfect weather right now. It's been in the 70s every day. Perfect weather for that fragrance. Back in arm day today, are you lifting? I did arms already. I did arms already today. And I did a 35 minutes steady state on the treadmill. And then I went to catch my usual Chipotle post workout. Light blue Italian love. Got to ask a sample city rhythm, New Orleans, and it's really, really sour smelling. You think the sample went bad? It's possible because I don't get anything sour from it. It's full of bourbon, though, which still uh, it shouldn't be sour. A lot of gourmand notes and spices. I'm surprised to hear it's sour. It might have spoiled some kind of way. I don't know because, yeah, it, it doesn't smell sour to me. I would definitely reach out to Niles, see if he can replace it. Kenzo Ohm EDP, I have it. That, that that's one of the fragrances that came in. I'm going to wear the EDT first, probably in the next week. Then I'm going to wear the EDP, and I think I'm going to do a comparison video between the two because Justin raved about the EDP. So when it came back in stock, I bought it. And Journeyman from Fragrance Net 10-4. just got Shiaka in. That's damn good. Uh, pooh, that's tough because three zero one's a really good spicy sandalwood amber. It's literally that simple: cardamom, sandalwood, and amber. You get all of it. But 801 reminds me of the Gulf of Mexico. Just the salty sea breeze. It's a very authentic sea breeze type of smell. 801, I think I have to go with, with 301 being a close second. Bang that like button. That's what I'm talking about. So, guys, uh, damn, 150 to spend between two summer fragrances. What should I get? Ooh. Uh, ask me that again next week because i have a feeling they're subject to change on the mancera because i want to tell you sole dietally from mancera but right now the one that's leading the poll in the member vote is the the mancera montal hall video which i have four manceras and two month montals right there that are summer fragrances one of those could be the banger that replaces sole dietally as my recommendation so I'd hate to tell you that and be like, no, it should have been French Riviera or Fabulous Yuzu or Melody on the Sun or Sicily. You know, what? I have the, that's the four Manceras, then Mango Manga and uh, Sole de, de Capri, Sole de Capri from uh, Montal. So that's the two Montals. That's going to be its own video. So don't pull the trigger yet if you really want my opinion. Wait till next week because I want to make sure one of those wouldn't be the one I would recommend because we're literally a few days away from me doing that video. So I want to be as accurate with what I really think as I can. Because where it stands right now, I would say Mancera Soli Daitoli and uh, probably Light Blue Italian Love or Light Blue O Intense. That's where it stands right now. My man, did you just upgrade? Did you? <laughs> I'm not even going to say. Thank you. I know what you did. I know what you did. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. That really adds to the pool for the niche fragrance giveaway. Big time. You just jumped up to the super fan tier. That's crazy. I appreciate that, man. You're a real one. That definitely going to go into the pool for the niche fragrance. Because that's the thing. The more funds we get towards this niche fragrance giveaway, I'm either going to expand it to more than one fragrance or do really expensive fragrances. <laughs> you know, we'll see. We'll talk about it. I'll do a, I'll do a member post and see which got you guys would prefer. Would you rather more than one winner or one really expensive fragrance? We'll do a member poll and talk about it. Carter Clock joined and choose the higher price option. 10-4. Tier 3. Yeah, you sure the hell did. I'll be damned. My man. Yeah, so we're going to have to expand it. You know what I mean? If people are going to start doing that tier. I threw it out there because I figured, why the hell not? I don't expect a bunch of people to do that, but you're the first to do that. That I know it. No. You're at least the first or second. I'm not sure what Sean did. I know Sean upgraded, but eh, y'all are crazy. Let's get in. <laughs> I appreciate that. Another member. So, guys, I hate to skip ahead, but we need to get into these fragrances. We're 20 minutes in. We haven't even talked about the fragrances yet. So let's go ahead. How about this? First three votes. Now, nah, screw it. I'm going to just do it. I was going to say y'all pick which one I open first, but we need to get into these. So the one I'm more excited about is Supremacy in Heaven. So I'm going to start with Supremacy in Heaven. 
Why the hell not? You guys are awesome, by the way. Seriously. That's why with these channel memberships, it's not about me just making making more money. I want to give back to you guys and involve you guys a lot more. That's why I've been talking to some people I trust more and more on and off over the last month or so. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Why not? You guys seem to be into it. I appreciate you. Oh, talk about pretty. Talk about pretty with that sky blue to silver gradients. Isn't that pretty? I've always liked these bottles, too. All of them look good. I now have not only Intense, Supremacy and Oud, Silver, Noir, and this one. I don't have Gold. I don't have the Incense one because I don't really like the Oregano and Interlude Man. Maybe I'll get, get it one day. Who knows? But wow, that sprayed right away. We'll do another little half spray. Ooh, yeah, that's definitely a Silver Mountain Water. It smells a little bit more fruity than Silver Mountain Water, typically. Is that a freshie? Yes, indeed. These are freshies. So underrated. Totally agree, Sean. Totally, totally agree. I'm waiting on them French Riviera thoughts. So, yeah, so I'm thinking for the first giveaway, as long as I really like it, because I don't want to be, like, lukewarm about it and be like, yes, I'm going to buy a bottle of French Riviera and give that away. But I have a feeling I'm really going to like that one, and that's probably going to be the giveaway for the month. French Riviera is like 110 right now, I think, from um, from Fragrance Buy. That's where I bought it. Uh, it was like right around 110. And if I really like that, I mean, the one I like the most of that haul is probably what we're going to give away for the first month. Um, there's a lot of tart black current in this, distinctive. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now, Sean. I didn't want to miss out because that's part of the member membership is. Your comments and questions and all that will never get skipped. Guaranteed answers from me, for sure. Thanks, everyone, for the support. Thank you as well, Kyle. You're a real one, you know. Afnan kills with those bottles. I agree. Two Man Sport only seems to last a few hours. No, not yet, but that's the one I'm going to wear first. I was looking at them today because here's the thing. I've gotten so many fragrances lately that I set myself up for reviews for the next couple of months. So it's going to be slow and steady. It's going to be probably three to four individual reviews a week. I usually do my double video days with reviews because the reviews don't really do that well in views most of the time um, compared to a topic or a haul or first impressions or something like that. So um, right now I'm working on review for this and I'm st I started testing Arrow's Flame, which I'm going to do a full wearing tomorrow. So that's probably the next two reviews. There's a little bit of a funkiness to this. It's tart and fruity, and it's got the metallic kind of inky feel. Like, it's very herbal and funky. It's a little different than I expected. I wouldn't call it the best take on Silver Mountain Water. Honestly, I think Siage is a little bit better than this one. Upon first impression, just this first minute of sniffing it. So with that, I would suggest getting Halloween Man Hero. Um, it substitutes the violet for lavender, so it's a little bit more soapy, but it's overall like 85 90% accurate and performs the same. And it's like $35 to $40. You get a 4.2 ounce. I would suggest that instead of going the clone route. Halloween Man Hero, I think, is a, the best alternative specifically for Invictus Aqua 2018. There's a ton of stuff for 2016, but for 2018 scent profile specifically, I would say... Halloween man hero. That's what I'm talking about. Get them guys. Get them boys. Uh Oh, Boswell Leo's on it too. I appreciate you guys. I think so. I'm still torn on if I like arrows flame more than the EDP. Cause I haven't done a full wearing yet. Just test sprays on flame, but I'm really digging flame. Like I'm, I'm wanting to lean into that's the best one too. Thank you, bro. 10, four, 10, four, my man. Before I even looked at a post. Nice. Oh, there you go. This is a little bit more funky and not as fresh as I anticipated. I mean, it's still fresh, but I think that the T note is why it's coming a little herbal and funky. There's definitely a T note here, and it's dominating this fragrance with some black currant. It's not bad, but it's not as good as I anticipated it to be. So let's pull up Parfumo. Let's take a look. I'm, there's got to be black currant and tea in here. I've looked at the notes in the past, but let's uh let's check it out, shall we? How 
how did supremacy in heaven not come up? How did that not come up? There it is. I don't know why, why it didn't come up. Fresh citrus, fruity, green, and woody. I would say green for sure. Top of bergamot and orange, heart of black currant and green tea. Definitely. That heart dominates this fragrance. Base of musk, sandalwood, and woody notes. So pretty high ratings. You know, people seem to like it. And I like it, but I don't love it like I thought I would. Because most of the time, the Afnan version of something has got a really good chance of being my favorite clone, you know? I, I like Siage a little bit more than this. Now, I will say this doesn't smell as, as cheap and synthetic as Siage, though. Up close, Siage smells like a cheap shit fragrance compared to the quality of this one. But out in the air, that's such an enjoyable fragrance. I do think I like the way that smells more than this. Because the that green tea is really dominating this fragrance. And I wasn't anticipating that. Musk green tea and the black currant is, is pretty much what I smell in my takeaway from this fragrance. It's good, not great. I don't even know if I would put it in very good. We're going to rate it at the, here in a little while, but we'll let it dry for a minute. But guys, I'm, I'm surprised. I thought I would like this more. So, uh-oh, I'm getting behind. I'm getting behind. Uh-oh, don't want to do that. Already, Jared said it. Keep trying to like these Middle Eastern clones. What's going on, Rick? Yeah, Rick's like a, a troll for these Middle Eastern clones. Montrese is in the chat if you want to give him a hard time. <laughs> Here's an off-nom one for you, Rick. Hit the like button. I'm late to the party. Adolfo, good to see you, my man. Yes, they are very much legit. Uh, my friend Steve that owns Kingdom Fragrances is friends with the owner of Aura Fragrance. Their, their prices are legit. Their fragrances are legit. Good people to do business with. Better than Eros. For sure. Not a big difference, but it's slightly nicer. I agree. What do I go to upgrade? I'm lost. Oh, you just got to um, go to the member page on my channel and uh, and you can adjust from there. Adolfo. Let's see. AJ just picked up 100 ml arrows flame with a travel for 30 bucks. That's a steal, man. That is a steal. Yeah, definitely legit. Let's keep that engagement. People Ross giving us the goods. We've got to show love. Appreciate that. Thank you, Jared. Minimize chat. Click. There you go. Better instruction than I gave. Dan, I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Supremacy in Heaven, pretty bold name. I think so, too, especially when it's, and this is my opinion, of course, not the best of what it's cloning. There's clones that are better than this. Immediately, I think of Siage. It's good, but it's not as good as Siage to me. Now, if Siage is just too damn synthetic for you, which that's the case for some people, I've seen the feedback, this might be a better choice. It's cheaper, too. The quality is definitely better. It's more centered around the tea note. If you like tea note, herbal tea note aromas in a fragrance, this is probably the one for you. I like that more metallic, fresh tone, which is why I like Zerzhov Mephisto more than actual Silver Mountain Water because it's more sharp and floral and citrus versus it's less inky and it doesn't have the tea note. So, which I do like tea notes in certain fragrances, but for this DNA... It's, I prefer the more metallic citrus side of it. Still good, though. Solid. Not knocking it. It's just not as good as I thought it would be. Uh, no, because once your nose wears out, your nose wears out. Our sense of smell is a survival is a survival sense because it's, it's made primarily to sense danger. That's one way to detect danger, certain smells. And so... If your body doesn't detect it as a danger, if you're just hanging out in the smell, it'll start to fade. Your sensitivity to it will fade. And more synthetic aromas, it does it faster. So I hope that makes sense. That's that's really what our sense of smell is for. It's not to just sit here and enjoy things. You can, you can indulge, but eventually you get used to it. Just like think back to when you were younger, family members that used to smoke in their house You'd walk in and it smelled terrible, but they don't smell it because they're living in it. They're constantly in it. Their sense of smell would adapt and adjust to it, and it, they wouldn't smell it as much. When I used to smoke cigarettes, I did not realize how damn bad I smelled all the time until I quit smoking. Now that shit smells terrible to me, like nauseating the smell of a burning cigarette to me. And I used to smoke a pack and a half to two packs a day. Just goes to show when you're in it, you don't, when you're around it, I, the thing I say, living in the siage, certain 
aromas are going to wear your nose out a lot faster than others. Never tried it. On the perks page, has a tab to change level. Links in the description. Anyone interested in joining? I appreciate you, my man. Thank you. Uh, it's not an affiliate link, but um, I believe it's still. So if you go to the um, the Untamed Perfumes video, there's a link with a code that she made. So you can save definitely save some money on your purchase. My Greek Lover and Solish C are definitely the two best ones from the house, and they are perfect for this season. I saw Justin featured Solish C in one of his shorts videos the other day. Uh, she she does great work. The lady that that own the owner operator perfumer of Untamed Perfumes, phenomenal work, phenomenal work. I need to wear those more. It's been a look. I'm looking at Solid C right now. 10-4. Bill Black. Shout out to Kingdom Fragrances. Personal notes are rare nowadays. Yes, yeah, Steve puts one in there. That's why the processing takes a little bit longer than Steve. He did hire some help. He does have uh, somebody working for him now to help him out because it, it's overwhelming because that's not his only job. He is a police officer. He's finishing a degree. He's got an, a child that's one, you know. Uh, actually, it'll be one in August, I think. If I remember correctly. So pretty much a newborn. He's got, he's got a toddler um, and a few other side hustles, graphic design, business, decals and stuff like that that he creates. So Steve's a busy dude. So the processing takes a few days with Steve, but the prices are great um, and it's extremely personable. Top tier customer service as well as the, the personable aspect with the note and everything like we're talking about here. And since more love for all hard work, you put in one of the goats in the community, Jens. I appreciate that. Thank you. Seriously. I, I love, love this. I love you guys. I love chopping it up. 135 viewers just to, you know, randomly chop it up with me. I appreciate you guys. 99 likes. Can we get one more like? Get over that 100. Pineapple, vin apple vinegar, and pine. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the EDT. I like the aroma, but I had a bunch of, I have a bunch of fragrances that smell like the EDT. That's why I never picked it up. It's the only one I don't have. I love the EDP and the Parfum, and I'm really digging Flame. Bitcoin, there goes your answer. Haven't tried Mephisto, but love the Gentle Womo Flanker. And I've only tried that one one time, uh, but I had a decant of Mephisto, and I was like, i got to get a bottle of this. So I'll be wearing That's one of my wife's favorite fragrances because she loves this DNA. Um, she's good with she like She's probably going to like this. I don't know how she's going to feel about the T-Note. I will find it is getting better as it dries. It's getting more metallic. The black currents kind of taking a step in front of the T note now. So that's nice. So let's see. Smelling spoiled food, etc. Smash that like button. Which do you like more between Chrome United and Chrome Legend? Ooh, that's a good question. How about Sean John Unforgivable and Milestone? I gotta go with Milestone for sure. Milestone's better than Sean. Now, Sean John Unforgivable 10 years ago was probably better, but the current one, it's just it just smells soapy now. Milestone's much, much better than Sean John Unforgivable. I mean, it's okay. It's like spicy soap, basically, fresh and spicy soap. But Milestone's got more of the melon smell to it. It's just, it's better. It's just better. Um, and then with Chrome United and Chrome Legend, they're so different. The T note and the, sh and you still get that metallic, sharp chrome smell with Legend. United is more of a relaxing tea. Type of, so that's both the chromes with the T-note, the dominated T-note, have a dominant T-note. Chrome United's relaxing. Chrome Legend is something I'd rather during the day. So I think I would go with Chrome Legend in that situation. 95 likes going well. How about a $10 tier two and a giveaway for a cheapian designer? No limit on how many can join. Not a bad idea. We'll talk about it. Like I said, I'm going to do an active conversation that I'm going to start with you guys. After, uh, probably tonight or sometime this weekend, I'll start it up and see. I'll I'm open to suggestions on adjustments for the membership because those of you that sign up for the membership, it's we're now running this channel together. You know what I mean? I mean, you guys are donating money to the channel. I want you to be involved in ideas and things to do moving forward. And I'm open to stuff like that. You know what I mean? If, if more than just you feels like that's a good idea, Kyler, I'm definitely open to making that adjustment because that's that's the thing with these different tier levels. We're going to give back. We're going to give back and have some fun with it. Have our own little community within the community, you know? Good. It's good that you stop. I'll wait for it to come in. Let's see. Same reaction to cigs now. Yeah, I can't stand the smell. I'm a pack and a half smoker. It's just so hard to give up. And look, I thought I was going to die smoking because I have a highly addicted personality. I, mean, I have over a thousand fragrances. I have over 500 hats. I still have over a hundred pairs of shoes. Used to have well over 300. Okay. When I'm into something, I'm really into it, right? It's all you have to mentally commit. 
I, I used vaping to stair step down. I vaped for less than a year. I started at um, 12 milligrams of nicotine, went to six for a, several months, went down to three for several months, did zero milligrams of nicotine for a week. And literally a Saturday, I'll never forget um, a Saturday morning, right after the meeting, when I was still at Mercedes, I went outside the vape. It had been a week of me not smoking any nicotine. And I literally took a drag and I'm like, why the fuck am I still doing this? I'm not addicted anymore. So let, let me see if I can go all day without touching it. Haven't touched it since. Literally, since I had that thought, I sat there and just, I remember exactly where I was standing, the moment, how I felt, what I was wearing, everything, because it was monumental. Because it's like I was officially done with any form of smoking from that point up. It, it's crazy, you know? So you got to mentally decide that you're committing because it's easy to want to fall into the habit because you're going to get the urge going to get the urge. You got to set a plan. You got to stick to the plan once you set it. That's the hard part. You got to commit. It's a discipline thing. You can do it. You can do it. I promise. You just got to want it bad enough. N no, I'm not a fan of interlude. That's why I never was interested. Frag frat. United is T-frag. And if you don't like T-note, you might not like it. Although I find it's amazing. Pool genre bobs. 100, 10-4. So at least a statement, there's no real tobacco in Marlboro's. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Gotta love Rick, right? Jesus. So uh, I believe I did a full review. I meant to if I didn't. Um, it kind of gives me the vibe of the original light blue without the incense. Like it gives me that citrus aquatic feel. There's a variety of bright, fresh, watery citrus. There's actual watery notes to make it aquatic. And it's a very breezy and ozonic fragrance that has... Very good performance. I wouldn't call it a beast, but I get every bit of eight hours and it's nice and airy for that entire eight hours. So that's probably the closest thing. It doesn't smell exactly like, like light blue, but I get the same feeling that I get from light blue. And I mean the original Dolce & Gabbana light blue because um, it's got that airiness. Just picture, this is going to sound strange, without the smoke and the spice because it's peppery and incensey light blue. You take the freshness, the watery tone, and the citrus, and the vibe you get from the fragrance, the feeling it evokes, and you get a higher quality, longer lasting fragrance with Sole Daitali. It's very ozonic, very airy and bright and juicy without being sweet. It's not real sweet. Beautiful fragrance. I love it. Big fan of it. Corey with $5 Super Chat. Thanks, Ross, for putting me on Happy Land. Love this stuff. Sampled about eight of them so far. My favorites are Signature, GIT, and Paisley Sky. So I've never been a huge fan of signature it's one of my least favorites um it's just it's too much it's immensely powerful i get tired of it quickly is why i don't wear it but paisley sky of the ones you listed big fan see the problem with me not wearing them is i'm always testing new stuff like literally i'm wearing this today i just got this within the last week i'm spraying these I, I these came in in the last week i still have a bunch of stuff that came in that i haven't even popped the seal on i'm gonna spread out you know i don't want to just do a bunch of haul videos but this is getting better, I have to say. Um, but yeah, Payless Sky's a banger. Appreciate the super chat, Corey. Thank you very much. Mikey, good to see you. Corey, RXL. Yeah, RXL cracked me up too. All right. Hot one today. Millseam Imperial. Excellent choice. RXL's the goat. That's what I'm saying. What's this tier you speak of? Uh, so there's there's two tier, three tiers currently in the membership. Let's see. Montrese, Mason Alhambra, Tobacco Touch, from Phoenix Rose. Oh, there you go. Spencer uh, figured it out, I guess. So, EQ, what's going on, my man? Uh, so, we're talking about some Middle Eastern stuff. I'm about to dive into the second one now. This is a clone, Afnan's clone of Creed Silver Mountain Water. A little bit of a disappointment comparatively. It's not as good as some of the other ones I've tried. For those of you that didn't know, I was going to lead into this in the last 10 or 15 minutes. But since you're here, we'll do it now. Uh, Six o'clock. No, 7 o'clock Central, Versent's battle between my two of my good friends in the community, Dedrick Hendricks Jr. and Dave Cowley from Cowley's Groom Room with my man EQ. Moderating is going to be three great guys on screen. Going to be a great stream. You guys know EQ likes to do his Versent's battles and his controversial topics and his live streams in general on Fridays. It is Friday night. The cypher is going down tonight. That's why I wanted to do this earlier. So I didn't interfere. So there's still going to be like an hour gap because we're going to stop at about an hour, maybe a few minutes over here. And then you'll have about an hour kind of intermission before EQ's live stream starts. Yeah, just chopping it up. Same thing. 
ordered Arabian's Tonka. I'm excited to check it out. Is 65 a good price? Yes, 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 and yes. Everything about that, yes. Safe blind buy, in my opinion, for sure. 65 is even better than what I paid for it. I paid like 75. I'm looking, my bottle's right there. I keep it in the front of my stack of Manceras because I like to randomly pull the cap and smell it. That's a great price, and it is blind buy safe. I highly doubt you won't like it. There's always that chance. Uh, and look, you can get mad at me if, if need be. I'll apologize to you for advising you on this. If in the event, the unlikelihood, mind you, of you not liking that fragrance, I think you'll definitely enjoy it, Control. It's good stuff. Rich Money Cash, what's going on? Luna Rosa Sport, that's a good one. EQ dropping in the chat heavy. That's what I'm talking about. Drop some fire, drop some fire in the chat for my man EQ, for sure. Ross, are you the first content creator to create a tiered membership to benefit your channel? I believe you might. No, there's others that have the join option, but I don't think they're necessarily doing it the way I'm doing it. Um, but there's a few that have the join button. I've never clicked to see what they're doing with it, but I'm pretty sure they're not doing a bunch of giveaways with the money and stuff like that. I'm not saying any, I'm doing it better than anyone else. It's just it was the idea I had was like I didn't want it to come across like I'm just trying to make more money. Sure, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna keep a few bucks out of it, but I want to do. The, I want to give back. I want it to let's do our own thing together as a little group. It's the group within the group, you know, our little family within the family. Um, those that really, really support me and are always here for the streams, and always commenting in every video. The the, the ones that are always here. That's who I figured would sign up, and that's who I want. I really value your input on what we should do moving forward. That's why I say we now, because it's not—it's more than just me. This channel is more than just about me, especially now with this situation. So I appreciate you asking. The trend is pretty big. I'm sure somebody's going to jock it. I mean, let's let's call a spade a spade here. If it's working for me, somebody else is going to want to make it work for them. You know, uh, I wouldn't be the first thing somebody jocks off of me, but we're in a space where creativity is limited. Uh, and when something catches on, like the Versense battles with EQ, it's a matter of time for somebody starts doing that. This is a great idea, and it gets a ton of traction. It's a matter of time, you know, but everybody knows where it started, right? That's all that matters. As long as respect's given and credit's given, I'm good with it. Same thing with my man right here. I'm sure as long as respect and credit's given, I'm sure he's going to talk to me nice. That's what I'm talking about. So let's jump into this new one. Uh-oh. Dylan Tim, new member. I appreciate you. Welcome, my man. So love that New Orleans humbleness. Thank you, my man. So let's jump into this one. We're getting kind of pressed for time because I keep chopping it up, but I love talking to you guys. That's why I like doing these live streams where it's just me because I like talking to you guys. So I've had people in the past tell me I should try this. I've seen a bunch of you in these chats drop it as your scent of the day, and it's less than $15. Wow, this bottle's heavy. This is hefty. Latafa Ijazi, I believe is how you say that. Intense silver, highly reflective. There we go. So let's give it a spray. Caps hefty. Everything seems to be a good build quality. Ooh, nice mist. Violet. It smells like violet. Aquatic and violet. Could be violet leaf. But it smells more distinctively like Fahrenheit kind of violet. Yeah, I smell it out in the air. Ooh, okay. This is better than Supremacy in Heaven. This is fresh, but it has some balls to it. It's got some density. Some spice. It's a little aquatic. Like kind of saltwater aquatic, too. But distinctive violet floral powdery. This is lovely. Just on this first sniff, I'm going to say this is one of the best fragrances you can get for $15, just from this opening. And it smells pretty good quality, too. It doesn't smell as cheap as I thought it would. Sometimes Latafa, they smell really cheap. Sometimes they, they don't. And in this case, it does not smell like the sub $15 price point. Shit. This is really good. If you like violet, you have to like violet. That's very dominant and distinctive. Right away, I smell violet. I will be amazed if it's not in the note breakdown. Y'all should understand this frag rapidly. Please hear me out. Fragrance community is evolving and live streams are part of it. All solid live streams evolve, evolve into better material. I agree with that completely. EQ was right about Mancera Pearl. He's right about pretty much every Mancera. Because y'all see me raving about Soleil Dietally. Guess whose video I watched that convinced me to buy it. 
like I like to say, EQ is an influencer, whether he likes it or not. I bought a bunch of stuff because of him. We talked on the phone, and he was talking about how excited he was to get French Riviera and especially Fabulous Yuzu. So guess what the hell I bought? Fabulous Yuzu and French Riviera. Because if EQs really, really like something, you can take it to the bank that it's a fucking banger. That's how much I appreciate and value that man's opinion. I value his opinion like I value Justin's opinion. Justin raved about Kenzo Ohm EDP. It got back in stock. I bought the damn thing. I haven't smelled any of them yet. I haven't opened any of them yet, but every time I've taken their opinion to heart and got a fragrance, I really liked it. So now pretty much anytime they're like really adamant about something, I get the damn thing. H24 EDP, Justin's fault. Terry Hermes Ogivre, Justin, and more so EQ's fault. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's some good guys with some good opinions is the moral of that story. Some wanted barbecue and was on your boy. Like Emblem Intense, I don't get quite the fruity, spicy tone that I get from Emblem Intense with this, though. I like silver. Smell it right out the shower in bed. Great cheapy. Smell it. Can't beat it for no hell no. You can't beat this for the price. This goes up there with the kind of fifteen dollar steal that this is. Kate Alpha Sun. So that's two banger fifteen dollar Latafa fragrances. Yeah, for sure. Neve did a live this morning. Neve did a live last night too. Jesus Christ. Neve's just like live stream guy. Okay. I don't want to skip too much. Recently picked up Shiaka. Would have no, definitely not redundant. Shiaka smells like reflection, man. This does not smell like reflection, man. This is very violet dominant. Should be in next week. Yuzu still isn't in yet. So the, there you go. See, we had a we had a one of our most recent phone calls. We were talking, man, Sarah. And he told me about how holidays is basically sunscreen, you know. EQ is definitely an influencer. I know he hates the thought of it. He's the man, though. Again, no sin of the day. What's going on, Randy? Yeah, I agree. He he. That's why I'm saying, like it or not, he's an influencer. That's why I say that, because he, he hates being called. Not hates being called that. He doesn't categorize himself as that. So let's go ahead and jump into the note breakdown on Intense Silver. Intense Silver. Here we go. Let's see what we're working with here. Fresh citrus, woody, fruity, spicy. I smell violet. I'm surprised that it's not in the notes. Grapefruit, mandarin, orange, cedar wood, fresh notes, amber, and moss. I smell violet. I just do. Sample, people, sample. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He's right. Sample first. Don't blind buy like me. I'm wild with it. I blind buy so you don't have to. Supremacy Silver is a great Aventus clone. It's, it's one that's closer to carbon copy. I have 13 bottles. So there you go. He built a Mancera collection off of EQ. I smell violet in here. Now, as much as I hate to go to these sons of bitches, we're going to go to Troll Grantica for a second. Because I want to see if there's violet in this damn fragrance from some note breakdown. Citrus, woody, amber, marine, aromatic, mossy powder. I definitely get the powderiness. And the aquatic tones for sure. Pretty highly rated. Same note breakdown. It smells like violet to me. Maybe it's the way the moss is blending with the citrus that it's coming across that way and the watery sea notes and everything, but this is damn good. Saying year-round, not the greatest thing for cold weather, but yeah, I agree. This is this is a good one. This is a damn good one for 15 bucks. Uh, this is Blind Buy Safe for $15, too. Just like I, I tell you guys, this is worth rolling the dice for 15 bucks. So is this. Yeah, absolutely. Kudos, Latafa. It's it's as good as everybody told me it was. Absolutely. Very watery, though. Very aquatic. Very, very summer appropriate. But it's got this that green tone, and it's got this floral feel. Like I said, it's, it's strangely, I smell violet. I could have swore there was violet in this fragrance. I completely agree. I've always I've always echoed that sentiment. It's the best spot to start. Mancera and Montal. Pierre Montal's houses offer a lot of bang for your buck. Good quality, great performance, some complexity most of the time, high compliment factors, versatility, challenges. You can get damn near anything you want from them for sure. 
Let's see. Don't want to skip too much. Yes. And uh, I haven't tried Bottega Veneta Pour Homme, but it's very leathery and green. Earthy green, uh, cypress dominant, and leathery. Dry leathery. It smells very classy. I've worn it twice. I, I brought it in in a first impressions haul video. I got it from Steve at Kingdom Fragrances. And uh, it doesn't get any love, but it's actually quite the elegant fragrance. I've heard it's similar to Bottega Veneta, but I haven't tried Bottega Veneta Pour Homme. But it is good. I think so. You got to like green, green and leathery. It's very green and leathery. Not too challenging, though. I take my time. It does last till I get seven hours easy on it. Compliments for sure. Definitely a date kind of vibe more than a club banger. Noted. It doesn't remind me of anything specifically, believe it or not. I, I don't get anything distinctive. Uh, 146 viewers, 138 likes. I'm not complaining, but hey. I'm not going to argue with EQ about hitting that like button. You know what I mean? So we're almost at the one hour mark. Let's revisit and give ourselves a rating here on Supremacy in Heaven. It's had some time to dry. It has gotten better as it dries down. Very much. It's gotten very much better. Black Current's kind of dominating the fragrance now. I do like it more than I like the opening. The opening, it was it was walking down the path of a 6 out of 10 to where it's just better than good. Like I said, I don't dislike it. I just have other clones of Silver Mountain Water that are better, that I like more. Quality's good here, though. Not as metallic as the others. So if you don't like that sharp metallic synthetic tone, this one's probably for you. The T-note has calmed down but hasn't faded away. It's a little bit more musky now. It has gotten a lot better. It's actually jumped up into the 7 out of 10 range. It's gotten very good as it started to settle into the early dry down and the heart of the fragrance. The opening wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like, holy shit, this is the best Silver Mountain Water Clone. No, the opening is definitely not the best one. But as it's dried, it has gotten a lot better. I think it's very good, especially after giving it a few minutes because it's been, I don't know, 20 minutes since I sprayed it and it's settling into the heart. Much, much better. I think 7 out of 10 is a good rating. It was it was cruising for, uh, not really cruising for a bruising at 6 out of 10. It's still a good rating. It's still better than, above average, it's better than good. But it's saving itself as it dries. It's getting better and better. 7 out of 10, I think, is a good rating for it. Now, obviously, we're not really into the dry down because we just sprayed this. But it is better. This one was always going to be immediately the, what came to mind when I sprayed it and smelled it was 7.5 out of 10. So Supremacy in Heaven managed to creep up closer to it. And as this dries, I only see this getting better because we're still in the opening. But the opening is great on this. Still very surprised there isn't violet. It doesn't smell like that anymore. It smells more like C-notes. It's being dominated by that C-notes smell. Um, any of you that have smelled a fragrance that dominates it, think fragrances like Aqua de Gio Profondo, for example, has a dominating C-notes, marine notes smell. So it has kind of that specific accord without smelling like Profondo. This smells higher quality, believe it or not, than Profondo, and it's only 15 bucks. This is a 7.5 out of 10. So they're both very good fragrances. Great for the money, too. I think this was 24, and this was 14.63, I believe, is what it was. Cheap, 49 bucks, roughly, before taxes or shipping or anything like that. Damn good. I smell cardamom in it, to be honest. That's fair. That's fair. I can see where you're coming from. I don't really get much spice, but the freshness, kind of that spearmint feel that cardamom can have sometimes. There is a very good freshness to it. <clears throat> For sure. Let's see. I don't really find it to have a Middle Eastern twist. Like if you would have, if this would have been a blind smelling rate, I would not have said this is a Latafa fragrance. No Middle Eastern vibe to it, no Orientals, no funkiness, no ouds, no, no incenses or anything like that. No, I don't get any of that. Very mass appealing. Probably the best $15 aquatic you're going to get because it's an aquatic at its core. And it's got some oomph to it. It's got some depth. It's strong, like it's not overwhelmingly powerful, but there's a thickness to this smell. It's not super airy. This is really good. Yeah. I'm sticking to the 7 and the 7.5 for these. At Ross for 50 bucks, that's a that's a great move. I forgot how much I paid. Let me look. Look at my order real quick. How much did I pay for it? Let 
Yeah, I paid more than that. 77. No, that's for the 100 ml. Yeah, and that's what I got. I got 100 ml. I paid 77. So, yeah, if you can get 100 ml for 50 bucks, yeah. Hell yeah, that's way better than what I paid. I paid 77. So, there you go. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't get a million. Same. You're just echoing what I said. I was a little behind on this. Tried Bad Time Charlie Beach Hut Man, but darker with saffron. I could see where you're coming from with that. Because of that freshness, that odd freshness that it has, that there's no notes to account for the freshness. That makes sense. I see where you're coming from with that, Rick. Jazzy Silver, very sagey to me with a heavy Ambroxan backbone. I don't get much Ambroxan. Solid 15 bucks, super heavy bottle. Yeah, for sure. For damn sure. Okay. <laughs> it's reminding me of Sunny D. There you go. CKL is right here. Got it right here. <clears throat> Love tea notes in my Gucci Pour Ohm. Some left at least. Gucci Pour Ohm 2, not 1. RS signed up. We appreciate you. Thank you for joining. Uh, like I said, throughout the weekend, I'll have an open discussion with you guys on Kyler's idea and how we should expand this with maybe some designer or cheapy giveaways with another tier with no limit on people because uh, we're going to put a, a member limit for the niche giveaway. You know, I don't want it to be too much to where the likelihood of some you win in in a certain amount of time is going to take away. I don't want to raise the odds or lower the odds technically to where it's harder for you guys, but I appreciate you. Oh no, this doesn't smell anything like blue electric. Not even a little. Why did they say that online? I bet it's on Fragrantica. That sounds like something that would be some shit on Fragrantica. Jazzy Silver. That's hilarious. 40 up votes and 44 down votes. I agree with the 44 down votes. No, this does not smell like. Wow. So there's 40 people that have broken noses. That's crazy. Anyways, yeah, that's not too often. I'm going to throw the broken nose thing out there, but this does not smell like Blue Electric. Blue Electric smells like a more lavender dominant Lana Weed Delome. You're going to tell me this smells like Lana Weed Delome? Come on now. Come on now. It's super aquatic. Assad, way too spicy in Middle East. Yeah, it's definitely that. It's definitely that because it's it's a dupe, a, a tw dupe with a twist on Savage Elixir. So the spices are definitely there. Triple Trader says lavender and cardamom in the top. That makes sense. That might be what I was thinking was violet. That makes complete sense to me. But still, it doesn't give me a blue electric smell. I don't think anyways. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm a little cuckoo. Who knows? But that does make sense. But it kind of gave a little bit of a, a violet feel to me. But I could see that creating the scent profile that I was thinking was violet. All right. Scrolling down. Because we'll be shutting this down here in just a second. Because in about an hour, my man EQ is going to be going live for the Versense battle. Let me stop the screen share. So anybody have any other Stop trusting for Grantica. Yeah, no shit. I agree. That's why I call it troll Grantica. People are fucking with people more than giving genuine thoughts. It's like 50-50. It's not everybody on there. For those of you that write stuff on there, I'm not talking about everybody. It's just the overall consensus. If you've been on there for years and years, you've seen the decline of that place. That's why I trust places like Parfumo and Eye Fragrance way more now. I don't use base notes that much. I don't have anything against base notes. But a Parfumo is my preferred place to go because I'm just there for the facts. I'm not there for everybody's everybody's little boo boo opinion. I'm there for the facts. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna form my own opinion, as I advise you guys to do. Definitely form your own opinion. I'm sure, uh, Christian. What are you talking about? Waste of time on your live. Lack of respect if you don't read comments. Third time I wrote shame. So I'm not sure who you are, but uh, I don't know if you realize we got well over 100 people in the chat actively putting comments. I can't get to every single one. I apologize if that's upsetting for you. What, what was your question, man? Uh, let me scroll back, see if I could find it. Since it's clearly very, very important to you. You skip because you don't know the answer. Just say it. Don't talk about respect. Okay, so you're being a little bitch is what's happening right now. I've never tried Black, uh, Bless Baraka. Killian Black Phantom, 
Uh, I would say Black Widow from Dua is the only one I've ever tried that is fantastic. But but yeah, your previous con comment, that's bitchy. Don't be bitchy. Don't do that. I apologize for missing your comment, but don't be bitchy about it. Come on, man. Um, but yeah, Bless Baraka, I've never tried. And Killian Black Phantom, for me, the only, I want to say it's the only one. It's the only one I have is Dua Black Widow, and it's a damn good one comparatively it's not one to one because of the quality but it smells pretty close beautiful sweet tobacco -y type of smell like black phantom but yeah if you get offended because i said you're being bitchy i apologize that you're sensitive if you get it and we can be cool moving forward that's what i'm shooting for i don't like thin skin i hope you don't have thin skin you know oh don't sweat that i got this like i said christian or however you say your name not trying to piss you off, just you got bitchy. <laughs> so I'm calling a spay. I'm very honest and blunt. Um, hope your feelings don't get hurt. Hope you don't run away and unsubscribe. If you do, it is what it is. But, you know, let's have some thicker skin around here for sure. Great stream. Always a pleasure to support people I believe in and be part of the magic. Salute. Spencer, I appreciate you, my man. You're always, you always try to be here as best you can. Is greater for Meltzer or for Grantica? Oh, for Grantica. I don't hate Mel Dave Meltzer. I don't have anything against him. Just because Eric Bischoff doesn't like him, <laughs> which I, I love Eric Bischoff. That's one of my favorite podcasts to listen to. Um, Wrestle Talk, I watch every single day on YouTube, literally every day. I don't miss. It's my favorite. Uh, I listen to the Click This podcast with Kevin Nash sporadically. Depends on the topic. I still listen to Cornette pretty often. Depends on the topic. Um, I don't list, listen to the whole Cornets drive through episode. I do the clips. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Keeping it 100 with Disco and Conan from time to time. I'm trying to think who else. I don't watch Being the Elite as much as I used to anymore. The Young Bucks web show. Sammy Guevara vlogs. I still watch here and there. I haven't watched Thunder Rosa in a while. Like I watch a lot of wrestling stuff, obviously. <laughs> you know, I'm wearing the Rock shirt right now. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you, my man. Body and then answers questions. You got to love Ross. Look, I'm just being me, man. Some people get mad for me being me. But I'm just being me. If you were standing in front of me, I would have said the same shit. Like, man, don't be a bitch. Come on now. Calm down. I'll answer it. You know? Sorry if your feelings got hurt. I hope they didn't. I apologize if it hurt your feelings. I hope you got th thick skin. Like, I hope you come back and call me a dick. That'd be a great response. I'd actually be very happy if you, like, ah, you're such a dick. That'd be great if you'd comment that. I don't know if you're still here or not, but what's EQ saying? Keep the goofballs out the chat. Keep it respectful, my guy. 10-4. Yeah, Some wouldn't have, have gave an answer. Fair play. 10-4. Insomnia. I've heard that's a good one. Matter of fact, it's funny that you say that. Uh, my buddy Matt, Georgia Gent, a few years ago, he told me that was a good one. Totally slipped my mind. I'm glad you brought that up. I've never tried it. I've heard that was like one of the better ones. And I think it's pretty affordable too, if I remember correctly. Don't fool. I, mean, I thought this live is a one-to-one -one session with him and Raw. No, definitely not. Get out your feelings. Oh, it's all good. Y'all don't have to pile on, guys. I got this. Yeah, EQ's channel is awesome because EQ is awesome. LMAO Ross is the GOAT. 10 4. Glad to join the familia. I'm glad to have you, my man. Yo, Ross, keep up the good work. First time catching on your live. Well, Funny that you had to see that, but that kind of shit happens from time to time where I'm, I'm a ball buster and I'm very blunt and honest and uh, you got to see it here firsthand, but I'm glad to have you. Glad you made it. And Ross does his best to answer everyone's question. Yeah. When, when I get caught up, like I'm at the bottom now, now I can go comment by comment, but when I get so far behind, cause maybe I, I went a little long winded on one. I got to skip ahead at a certain point. It's no disrespect to any one person. You might ask five times before I see it. Um, I'm not saying you have to super chat or you have to be a member, but boy, those member badges and the super chats stick out. Again, I'm not saying you have to do that to get your question answered. 90% of the stuff I'm talking about isn't a super chat or isn't a member. It's just it stands out more. That's why those things have the special indicators so they don't get missed. Um, again, not saying you have to do that to get your question answered. I'm just giving you an example of what makes it stand out a little bit more. <clears throat> Barry, what's going on? Middle Eastern fragrances are my bag. I know you've done quite a bit of Middle Eastern reviews over the years. Kevin Nash, great listening. Uh, Kevin Nash is such a chill human being. 
Dustin fan for life for sure. Got Terry Amez, Ogivre today. Smells amazing, but I'm having performance issues. I think it's on the weaker side. It's probably a skin chemistry thing because I get like six or seven hours on my skin. Uh, EQ, I don't know if you're still here, if you want to weigh in. I think EQ gets pretty good performance too. But the main thing with that one is the experience. If you got to respray it every couple hours, so be it. It's a wonderful experience is the biggest thing. No, I think he's got a great mind too. So I haven't heard back from the WWE rep. I, I, last week when I did the live where I had Big Beer Business and everybody on, I sent I sent Jordan the link and he said he wasn't able to make it. He respond, I, talk, I still talk to him all the time. Uh, no, I say all the time. A couple times a week I still talk to him, but I don't want to press the rep. The rep told me after WrestleMania she would get back with me to set it up. Maybe I need to tickle his ear with it so he can get with her because I don't want to just press this WWE rep like, hey, it's, WrestleMania has been a little while now. <laughs> I don't want to press her like that. Uh, probably not. Let's see. If he doesn't answer, ask the chat. They're the best FragCom family. I agree. I agree. Sean, I've been waiting for months, but Omos is a very busy man. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. He just did Chris Van Fleet's podcast. Damn. I have insomnia. Which... Hashtag cancel Ross. Yeah, right. Um, lately, I've been shopping with Fragrance Buy a lot. Um, Kingdom Fragrance I shop with all the time, obviously. Um, and I I've been buying a lot of stuff from eBay. I, I always consistently buy stuff from eBay, too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Shout out to the Fragrance Content Creators. I started this live while I was at work. Now I just pulled it in my house. Love a good frag chat. 10-4. 6 to 7. See, EQ gets the same kind of performance I get from it. Got your nose in Jazz Club. Yeah, I have a bottle of it. Got a bottle the other week and it's become a favorite of mine. Yep. Yeah, it, it, I echo this sentiment. It's the ish for sure. Figured everyone would start saying CK all layered with Masoni Parfum is heavenly. So on that note, we'll go ahead and shut it down. We did a little bit over an hour. I appreciate all of the new members that joined. I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me. Make sure it literally in 53 minutes. Head over to Quality Fragrances or head over there now and click Set Reminder so you don't forget if you don't want to just hang out on YouTube. But in less than an hour, it's going to be Callie's Groom Room versus Dedrick Hicks Jr. I think it's Summer Date Night Fragrances because I know Dave had that idea for potentially for me and him to do. With EQ moderating, should be a great watch. I know it's going to be jamming. It's going to be popping. There's going to be a lot of people watching. It's going to be a very active live chat and should be a really, really good show. So make sure to check that out. Ross Low Media Plantini is pure rebottle of cologne. Now, that's what I've been hearing from everybody. Everybody's been telling me 90% with a little bit of this or spot on. That's what I figured. The note breakdown is one note different from cologne. It's missing the orange note. <laughs> so I figured it was the same thing for sure. Great live stream. If you go back in time, what would you tell your younger self? I'll end on this because Bane's always got to do this shit. Um, <clears throat> not a thing. I wouldn't do that because I wouldn't be sitting here doing this right now with you guys if I would go back and change any one thing. So there's that. Cheat day tomorrow. Sweet. Got my reminder. That's always good. So on that note, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Make sure to check out today's video if you haven't yet. I'm probably going to do a live stream tomorrow at some point. I can't guarantee it. But Sunday, I still got to set it up. We are doing a blind smell from a package Unaveraged Joe sent me. I will set it up. Make sure you have all notifications turned on so you'll get the notification when it goes up and you can set a reminder to watch it. But Sunday afternoon, I don't know what all is in here. I know some dip teak, but there's a bunch of other stuff. There's a lot of samples in here. So you guys have a good one.